Yeah, that's on my list too. Yeah. I literally just came in here and just popped down. I'm ready. Well, I'm ready now too, I think. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. It's been a whirlwind today. It's been a whirlwind week. Although I was off Monday, so um <laughs> And I Saturday. Did, and Saturday. And so And I'm, part of Friday. And part of Friday. So yeah, it's been a whirlwind here, but in a whirlwind for you too. I know. I I relaxed. I went and saw Winona. Did I tell you what that? I, I saw pictures. Oh, Winona. She was so Who great. doesn't love the Judds? Oh, I know. I, I mean, know. I remember when I was like 12 and the Judds first came on the scene and I would get in my room and I would put on my cassette tape and sing Mama, He's Crazy to the loudest. Oh, I love that song. I am telling you what, that was my song. She did and not with sing the that thing. till the encore. And I was like, you didn't even sing Mama, she, Mama He's Crazy? Like, oh, I love that song. Uh, and I just that remember every true. single word. I guarantee you, if it were to come on right now, I could sing it all. Some songs you just never get rid of, you know? Well, I mean, everybody there was singing with her. Oh, I would have loved to And sometimes she would stop and I just invited. let... I was very fortunate to be invited <laughs> because this is a different group. But it's a friend of a friend, and they had so an extra you were ticket. Just like the, the the extra, that's okay. Hey, I'll be the extra, right? You know, every time. I'll be that friend. Hi, everybody. Jake, Kim, Beverly, Maxine, Kim. I saw Allie. Allie. Speaking of Allie, okay, she has an artist in her family. An artist. An I'm, artist. I'm trying to see YouTube. I mean, TikTok. Okay, we got 14 people watching on Instagram. And I don't know how many we got going. I think only a couple on TikTok. You know I can't That's because we're not you know, used to it. Okay, so Allie and Denali sent me a birthday card, which was beautiful. Because Kim's birthday is when? Friday. And... Her daughter, oh, I don't know if you can see this. Let me get it out of the light. Drew this picture. Oh, it's kind of fuzzy now. Yeah, I show it to and TikTok. Show it to TikTok. I show it to Instagram. And it says, Dearest Kim, these party pumpkins are wishing you a very autum autumnal, autumnal. Old autumnal birthday. Love, Mom, Dad, Rainy, and Boo. And she drew a picture of her dog, Boo, and my dog, Tommy. Because they sent me a picture of their dog, Boo, and I told them my Tommy could be Boo's brother or sister. Or sister. You they look so they look that much alike. When it all comes down to it, we're all related in one way or another. Yes. We what are. is it, six degrees of separation? Something like that. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Allie and Rainy and Les and Boo. Thank you. I just love my drawings. And then Pam Daly stopped by this morning. She did. She made a special trip over and here just for this. And she makes these cards, and they're all so beautiful. And they're textured. You can't they're really like, see, but they're yeah, textured. They're, they're like, like they're it's super, super cards. I call them super cards. They're like super ornate. It's like they're so pretty, you don't want to give them away. I know. You know, when you get them from her and you buy them from her, because she does, I think she sells them. But I bought. Um, you don't want to give them away because it's like, oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I bought like 15, and so I've got them in my drawer, and so like. They're for special people. Anyway, sorry. I, I, got, I digressed. I and know. we do have something else. Um, this is really coming from Carrie. So this is a shout out. Carrie had a sweet, sweet lady named Marita um, come up from Galveston. And Carrie worked with her a couple of times. You know, pretty lengthy appointments. And helped her find just the right thing. She sent the biggest, <laughs> the biggest. bunch of nothing bunt cakes. I mean... I didn't we're think not, I was going to. those little ones. We're no. talking like. I didn't think I was going to be able to get the box in the refrigerator, but it, it did It was fit. heavy. When they delivered it yesterday and I went and grabbed it, it was heavy. Yeah. But thank you so much. Yeah. Um, she sent that to us. We always appreciate treats. <laughs> you know, Holly Rogers is always great about bringing us treats. She's, I think Holly's like, she should be like a, a food scout. Oh my gosh. She finds. She finds the best things everywhere. And she's so thin. I know. I'm jealous. I and know. she's got great skin. I know. She does. Well, I want to be like Holly. Sweet. She's just sweet. We've got so many sweet people. Okay. We're missing have. Oh, thank you for all the birthday wishes. Do you guys? Do you want to tell how old you're going to be or no? Yeah, I'm going to be 57. 
And on Friday, we may go live again. Oh, well, I think we should go live. It's her birthday. Let's go live at noon on Friday. Well, okay. All right, so y'all, y'all better watch. You better watch. Because we got something special planned. We do. For Friday at noon. You have to watch. Have to, have to, have to watch. Okay? Yeah. Set aside everything. Set an alarm. Do whatever you're doing. Make it later or earlier. Because at noon on Friday, we're going live. And if you're local, it's going to rain Friday. So just sit at home with coffee and... Make a grilled cheese and tomato soup and join us. Don't mention grilled cheese. I still have not got butter. (laughs) All I wanted for dinner the other night, all I wanted was a good grilled cheese sandwich. So I go to the store. I get bread. I get cheese because I always have butter. Go home. I don't have any butter. And I even made a Facebook status about it because I was so devastated. Because when you want a grilled cheese, you want a grilled cheese. That's like my number one comfort food. And all these people were saying, use mayonnaise. Mm Mm-mm. I'm Southern. I want some homemade. No, well, not homemade. I wish. But I want some good salted butter on some bread and some cheese. So now you're talking about grilled cheese and tomato sandwiches. I mean. Tomato soup. Guess what? What? They sell butter at the grocery store. I know, but I can't remember to get it because I don't (laughs) actually buy groceries. Rosalie Neal says she's sending you butter. Everybody's tired about hearing about your butter. I hope you. I I smelt her wig. I am. I I do not let my refrigerator run out of butter. I don't either. That's why I'm I so buy flabbergasted before, that I don't have I it. I buy it before I run out because. I mean, it's just me, and I don't cook, but I always have butter. There are certain things I always have. Yeah, because toast, in my opinion, cures everything. Yes. And you got to have yes. butter on it. Toast should be its own food group. What's anyway, that got to do with wigs? Nothing. What are you wearing? <laughs> I'm wearing Eclat, um, by Ellen Villa in the Pearl Blonde Rooted. I'm wearing January by John Renault in the 10 H16. Maxine, you keep 15 pounds of butter? Oh, my goodness. My daddy, okay, he travels all over the United States for work, and he's in the Amish country a lot. He brought home this Amish butter one time that was in a roll. It was like, you know, it was like those big rolls of bologna. That's yeah. what it was like. <laughs> it was butter. It was so good. I had to snatch some of it. Well, you know I'm about to start making toffee. Well, I'm sorry. I'm on a diet. And I probably will go through at least 10 pounds of butter. Kim so. makes the best toffee in the world. The best toffee. That, the best. It's about no, to It's ha- the best. I bought two boxes of 36 Hershey bars at Sam's. You better on, get them now. So, you know, it's hard to find them the closer you get to the holidays. No, I got two yeah, uh, on Monday at Sam's saying. when I got soaked to the skin from the rain and had to go home and change. Okay. I guess we should go on. Okay. All right. Um, Loretta, I'm so sorry. On YouTube is asking, could you enable your closed captioning? We have done that on our replays before, but I think it's because our accents are, my accent's so bad, it never says the right thing. But yes, I'll start doing that, but it'll only be on the replay. You can't do that on a live. Okay. Okay. I'm so. glad you need to answer that because I don't. All right, so we're going to show you the John Renault ombre colors. Yeah, I'm confused as to whether we're really supposed to call them cascading or ombre. <laughs> well, we're going to call them ombre. Um, and we there's five new colors? Six. And we only have three? We have we have five okay. of the six. Okay. We don't have autumn. So we're going to be showing you all the other five colors. Oh, typical John Renault style. Roll it out and not have everything but yeah Yeah, and these are on our website already but they're pre-sale so if you decide you want to order one of these they come in 17 different styles we only carry eight of the 17 um so we're going to show you three of those today but if you order them just know they're not going to ship until november 1st right yeah they they won't ship to us yeah so hi kim morgan welcome all right. All right. Well, let's just get started. Let's do it. Might as well. Oh, my gosh. The weather's so nice here. I didn't get my hair put up all the way. Well, it's like I tell people in the store. It doesn't have to look good. You're going to cover it up. Yes. Just get it on yeah, up. Yeah, that's good. That's cute. It's real cute. Oh, goodness. All right, we're not ignoring any questions or comments that are coming in on Instagram or TikTok, but 
those are mobile platforms and so we have to use a mobile device which means you're pretty far away from us so we just can't see it so we always try to go back and answer any questions you have so just be patient if you ask a question Kathy John Renault is a great company they make beautiful wigs uh, they make beautiful colors so. all right let's get this moved up here I feel like we never do that get ourselves situated here okay so first one we're going to show you is Heidi Heidi okay so let me just tell you about the numbers so the S18 at the beginning means that it has a shadow root and the color of the root is an 18. When they put 60 slash 102, then they have blended 60 and 102 together. And then when they put the RO at the end, that means Renault Ombre. Okay, makes sense. Okay, so this... What's that called? Sunshine? Mm-hmm. I was expecting a lot more gold. Let me shake it a little bit. I'm just going to put it on. I really don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> I don't think I have ever put Heidi on before. I haven't either. And they all come with this zigzag part. This is a pretty color. I don't know how I feel about this color. Um, I will say this. the A lot of times with 18, it can look green, and I don't think this looks green. No, I think the color combination is pretty. Yeah. I mean, I feel like this is a little low for an ombre almost. I don't know. It's, I mean, they're a little bit late to the game because Aesthetica and Renee Paris have been doing this for years. Yeah, Renee Paris calls it a long root, which it typically is just right here. It doesn't go there. And then Aesthetica, even their coffee collection, I feel like, is mostly ombre, right. which means the root comes down here. But I like this color. Yeah. I can handle this one. Jake is right. Uh, he says, I like the highlights in the bang. That is really mm -hmm. pretty. Yeah, that's what the I was The way they've done that. It, they take some of the color all the way up. So it's more noticeable back here. I, I'm not... It may be somebody's look. It's not mine. Because, I mean, you can see in the back of my eye how it comes down. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's, I like the tones. I like okay. the tones a lot. I like it better than I thought I would. Yeah, I'm I mean. I'm just going to be honest. I, I just wasn't sure about this. And let me tell you what I do like. Uh, and I, I try not to compare companies all the time. But comparing, like, say, this Icy Blonde here to the... What is the color? Americano? Yeah. In Aesthetica, which has this icy, the Americano is really dark up here. Oh, like a super dark, like yeah. a four. So this is nice if you want that nice icy blonde at the ends. Yeah, it is. That's I much. like it. Yeah, Michelle, that's just, she typed just as I was saying about the Americano. Yeah, I have, uh, what is it? It's not orchid. orchid. No, it's not orchid. Oh, then Avalon. Avalon in Americano. It looks totally different on me than it just did on you. It does. It looks darker on me. I it think. does look darker. Oh my gosh, I kind of like it. That icy makes your eyes so blue. But look at that. That's what's. He, that's right. I mean, that isn't that is, gorgeous? That is. See how that just blends kind oh of and has those longer pieces? Can you imagine what you wouldn't give if you could get your hair to like that? I wish they it would, would never do it turn out like right here. Which that almost looks like it has a little purple. Um, maybe it's that light. But you know, they call it like the money piece in the hairstylist, you know, lingo, where all this right here is this big chunk of blonde. I wish they would have done that, which they've kind of did that with the little streaks, but not that super blonde. This is pretty. But I want to turn around and let you see the back of this one and see if you see what I see. You feel like it's just a little disconnect? Or it's, it's a hole. Yeah. I feel like it's a hole and they it, it's, it doesn't have, it doesn't blend. It should do something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's still pretty. Yeah, it's still, still like pretty. It. I still love it. I would wear it. I would wear that color and this color. I, I wouldn't like wear this that. Wig. This color is a little bit warm for me. This wig is Carrie's hair. This, that wig's 
That Heidi's beautiful. I've never put one on before. Me either, but look, it has these shorter bangs. We just need to talk about this style a little bit. It's got shorter bangs. Which is hard to find. With a curl. I mean, I could have sold this yesterday. <laughs> But we don't open these things until we show you, so I couldn't. Oh, goodness. All right, so now. Arrow. Thank you. Miranda. Fawn. When I think of fawn, I, my allergies are killing my voice. I think of back in my hair school cosmetology days, the frivolous fawn. <laughs> what is that called? I fanciful? Fanciful. Oh, fanciful, fanciful. rinse. Yeah, the color that most of the ladies would come into the school for, because Thursday was senior day, they would want me to put that frivolous fawn on their hair. What color was it? It was... Kind of fawnish. <laughs> this is it. This is fawn. This is what they're calling fawn. Miranda has a lace front and a monofilament part. Okay, I would have thought this would have been warmer. Sunshine. And it's interesting they picked oh the color 14, but it's really pretty. It is really pretty. Let me see the back. Yeah, it's still got oh. that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. It's still kind of got that color hole back there. The fawn. But I'm sure somebody. Did I rip your ear went earring out? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's all right. No harm. Is there still a hole right there? Uh, yeah. I mean, I feel it like on this natural. one, they pulled it through more on the sides than in the back. My niece is a hairstylist, and her specialty is kind of what she calls lived-in hair. And it's kind of like this. It's kind of meant to be where you don't have to go to the salon, but maybe once every four to six months. You don't have that harsh grow out. It's pretty. Yeah, the, someone said the eight looked pretty warm. It does look pretty warm, which is interesting because the John Renault 8 is a cool tone. So. How do the knots look? It looks more like an 832. They look pretty good. They're a little bit uniform for me. I always use the John Renault pinking shears just to break up that line. But, you know, the knots look pretty good. I wish... And I'm sure they talked about putting light pieces in here. I don't know why they didn't do it, but for whatever reason, they chose not. Missy, that color's gorgeous on you. I like this wig, too. Yeah, I like this wig, too. I mean, they did put some of them in. Maybe it's just kind of they're hidden underneath. Yeah, no, on the here, they did, but, like, right here. Oh, yeah, in the back, no. There, it's not there. I like it, though. Yeah. Th these are better than what I expected. Yeah. I wasn't excited about this. I know. Like maybe I should have been. <sighs> Me too. Me too. But it's just like everything in life. If you get really excited and hyped up about something. <laughs> How many times have you said, this is going to be my new wig? I say and it all like... the time. It's a <laughs> failure. But if you're just like, oh, yeah, whatever. This is overdone or this or that. Then it's like, oh, my goodness, it's my favorite thing ever. No. On this type of stuff, I love being wrong. Yeah, this Miranda is such a pretty. It is, and it's an, a nice, affordable wig. You know, since it just has the monofilament part. Uh, Sarah, yes, yeah, so it's only coming in longer styles. The shortest style it's going to come in is. That we carry probably L. Yeah, probably L. Mm -hmm. Well, even if we don't carry it, oh. Yeah, I think L still, maybe. Yeah, because they're not doing Cameron. Or L or Mila. Oh, gosh. I love this. Okay, so Team Ay 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 Ayala <laughs> is asking what the pinking shears are for. 
So a lot of times on lace front, you get this straight line, especially when you have darker knots. And so John Renault makes special uh, pinking shears. This is not what you get at Hancock's or Joann's. They have purchased very, a very specific type of steel that literally slices through that lace and it doesn't tug on the lace. If you use your pinking shears from Joann Fabrics, it will tug at the lace, it'll actually tear it. So, but by using pinking shears, you get that zigzag lace and that breaks up the line of the straight line of the hair. So uh, those are what those are for. They're not cheap, but they work and we use them in the store all the time. Jan was asking if we could cut bangs in this wig. I think yes, because it's regular fiber, which means we can reform it pretty easily with steam and our hot airbrush. And it does have some face framing layers, so it'll be nice, easy to blend. But, oh, my goodness, I love it. Yeah. Love it. All right. I'm Now I'm trying to decide if I like this or the Heidi better. I think I like this. Because once I get that, oh, which one am I going to get? That's I don't care about anybody else. Which one am I going to get? Okay. Yes, um, Shamani is on here commenting on YouTube. She's our rep from John Renault. And these are available in some light like the, can, uh, the Zara light and whichever other lights. Um, we don't carry those. We only carry um, eight of these so that are on our website. But if you want to see the full range, you can go to the John Renault website and then ask us any questions. It does not come in the whole light collection. It comes in Miranda light, um, Zara light. Rachel, please. And Rachel light. So it doesn't come in Cameron light. But... I would look for that to be expanded at some point. Okay. Ooh, sunrise. Oh, you got sunrise and I got midnight. <laughs> this is the color I'm most excited about. And I don't know why. I'm just really into dark colors right now because of the time of the year. I love to. She tried to get me to wear a dark up. wig today. She's not very open minded, y'all. Well, I tried some things on it and I like it. Hey, the, this is the one that I want to look really closely at the knots because it's the darkest color. And I don't have my magnifying mirror in here. But, because that's the thing we get asked about all the time is how to disguise those dark knots and keep them from being so uniform. And like Kim talked about, you can use the John Renault pinking shears and break some of that up. And if you really know what you're doing, you can kind of razor some of those out or pluck them out. Plucking's a little harsh to do. but Or use your foundation. Just use your foundation powder. What, or the uh, blonde powder, mineral powder that we showed on our products video. The John Renault core class, they recommend that you use, what are those things called? The... the it's like little personal razor things. Yeah, but like you, for your eyebrows. Like for your eyebrows, and that uh, tends to cut, you know, you can pull a knot out easier with that. If you pluck it, you're actually kind of plucking the lace too, and so it wears out faster. For okay. all you brunettes out there who want to go lighter, but you feel like your skin tone and everything just looks, your face looks better with dark against it, this is your color. This is, okay, if you're familiar with Safari from Tonya Beverly. This is, I think, the same colors as Safari. It's just totally rearranged where it's ombre. And yeah, that's and what well, Safari has those lighter pieces, like blonde. Well, this reminds me of, what do you, I mean, I don't know. We'll do a color comparison sometime. But it's pretty. How yeah. are the knots? I can't see. I mean, they're dark. Does it look bad? Like, uh, like you would want to do I, something with it? Yeah, I wouldn't wear it unless I put pinking shears to it. It's so pretty though. I love misty and dark hair. And the SS410, that kind of reminds me of the colors that they're doing in that. You see how nice and cool that is? Yeah. And that's, you know, again, these dark colors with any kind of highlight at all, it's so hard to find. Wendy wants to know what color 103 is. Well, 102 is extremely light blonde with a hint of yellow. I don't know what 102, 103 would be. Shemini, I don't, you want to answer that? I one? don't know what 103 is. And these color codes. But this is cool. Totally it's a, it's a cool tone. Me. 102 is not cool, but 103 apparently is. Okay. 
Thank you, Holly. Casey says that 103 is platinum. Okay, platinum. Yeah, I mean, I don't know where the 103 is. <laughs> I gotta say, this is like beautifully blended because you really don't get that streaky look. Oh my gosh, Holly. Holly Haney from Facebook just commented, I wish John Renault would make a baby with Raquel Welch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh. funny. L is one of our most- Dermaplane, thank you. Most popular wigs. If you want, oops. If yeah. you want something that's just shoulder length without a lot of fullness this is, on top. This is when people come in the store and they say, I want short but long and I want straight. <laughs> Business casual but sexy. <laughs> I want straight, but I also want movement. And so L fits that bill every time because it's. This color's pretty. It's straight, but it's got enough layering to it that it just. Yeah, that color's beautiful. It's I really different. Didn't, it is different. It's different. I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, it's, it looks like shaded peach almost. Almost. But it doesn't have the same colors as shaded peach. No. But it looks really similar. I mean, and they're doing the streaks. This is this is good. It's not overly uh, copper. Now, I am noticing if you're watching on TikTok or Instagram, um, it's not as bad on our, with our main camera. But these look a little shiny. But that's because we are under these super bright lights and easy to tone down with the John Renault um, pick-me-up dry shampoo. Yeah, Rosalie says this length is a sweet spot. It really is. This and I really love the the Miranda. We didn't turn around. Oh, we sure didn't. Thank you for the reminder. I like it. I liked I them all. You. And all the wigs we unboxed are actually hanging really well. Yeah, there's no, no cold, cold set. side issue. No. Oh, shoot. Here, I, I, I. Sorry, y'all. We just got to block somebody really quick. Okay. All right. Well, that was good. That was good. Now my mouth isn't working. What do you want to do now? I don't know. You got anything to talk about? We can talk about a sale. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. All right. Usually Marsha does this, but once again, this week was crazy. I didn't even, she doesn't even know what the sale is because I didn't have time to tell her. So I... <laughs> So you're stuck with us. Stuck with us. All right. We carry eight of these wigs. And so all eight of these styles, no matter the color, will be on sale now through Sunday for 25% off. Yes. And if you're watching on Instagram or, or TikTok, we will post the code um, in, a, in a post just a little bit later on. But the code is? Ombre25. Ombre25. Every time I hear ombre, I just think of that. When Trump said, he's one bad hombre. <laughs> <laughs> These are some bad hombres right here. In a good way. In a good way. <laughs> the good uh, bad. The good kind of bad. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank Remember, you. watch Friday at yeah. noon. At We're going to go live. Stuff's you don't want to miss it. All right. Anything else we need to talk about? I don't think so. All right, well, everybody have a good rest of your week, and we'll see you on Friday.